Welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Somic. In this video, we will see how can we convert any Excel file to XML formatted file using data transformation and passing that together. So to achieve this, we will first develop a DT parser project using the, using the preprocessor known as Excel to Data XML. So this preprocessor XML to Data XML has the built-in code which will do the actual conversion from XML from Excel to XML. So once that that parser project is completed, we will pass that input file to the studio and verify whether we are getting the correct output XML mark or not. Okay, so once the DT project is correct, we will deploy it in Power Center server so that we can automate the whole process. So for that, we'll also need to create a simple mapping like a, a source UDT transformation and target so that we can see the whole process, the whole automated process. We'll show this uh, in the demo now. So this is the DD project we are using here. So you can see the Excel to data XML preprocessor we are using. And uh, here we will provide the test Excel, Excel file. Okay, so and after that uh, you can see that this is the parser project so once uh, this preprocessor goes through the whole excel, the excel file and parses it we will map it so map it to the target data holder as per our, as per our requirement so for example for this id we have notified this uh, id data holder so this is like uh, any normal parser okay So this is the source XML, we will parse it, we will convert it into a respective XML format, okay. Here we have uh, provided the Excel file name, so just uh, go to run and run it. Okay, so let me go to results, so you can see an XML file got generated. Now we can, after again uh, creating that XML file, we can work on it and make it to another format as per as per requirement. Okay. So now since the coding part is done, so we have to automate it because in in in, in real life we cannot uh, provide a input file every time. So the process should be automated. So whenever an input file comes, it should be automatically convert to a uh, Excel, uh, XML file and dropped into a target location. So here power center comes into the picture. One more thing, uh, more information on this whole DD project creation can be found on this KB124693. You can also find an sample DD project which will convert an Excel file to an XML. So in this power center mapping we will develop a simple, simple mapping where we will pass the source file location and let DT pick up that file and process it. So this is a simple source file uh, definition and I'll also bring an uh, UDT transformation here. So this is it. Okay. So I'll file the, I'll provide the input type as file because I'll pass the location of the file, of the exit file. So, so the input file will be provided to the input buffer. Mm. For target, we'll again given red file. So. So in the service name we need to give the name of the UDT service which we have created. So this will be the name of this CMW file name. 
one more, more thing which I forgot to tell that once the DT project is created it need to be deployed in the Informatica server so here you can see I have uh, copy pasted it into service db location sorry so here it is okay so the mapping part is done we need to go to the session part so let me create a session Just providing the name of the source files. So we are done here. Let me show you. So here main server src files we have this file so this is here we are providing the location of the actual access excel file pass under uh, dt will read from this file and convert into a xml file and write the target file into the target directory so this target, uh, target directory pass into a uh, pass into will write the file so let us run the session now This is the latest run. Let us rejoin again. Okay, it's successful. So let me just go to the target location here. This file has been created. Let me copy it. So we can see the XML file which is uh, generated here. Okay, so we can uh, make it to any format uh, as per our requirement. So with this, we have come to an end of this video. We would love to hear from you. Please send us your valuable feedbacks at supportvideos@informatica.com. You can also follow us at twitter.com/infosupport. Thank you.